So on yesterday, we talked about how IGN only gave NBA 2K23 a 6 out of 10, and they cited the exorbitant, the exorbitant level at which the uh, intensity of the transactions of the micro variety are are required to play the game. Uh, mainly, they just said, "Listen, it, it stays pay to win, and that's why we that's why we really can't enjoy the game." Uh, like I said, some people in the community agree, some don't. Y'all, let me know what y'all think in the uh, comment section. I just told y'all it's a VC intensive game, so you cannot go out there making bills that you're taking chances on and that people that you know they might not be relevant next year next week you know next saturday night you know you, you just got to make bills that are bills that are very solid that could probably last you all year and if you make something like that i don't think you're gonna have a big issue and then like you don't have to get in you got to get in my career and grind anyway to get a lot of this stuff so Hey, I, I think maybe they took that into account. Who knows, man? But NBA 2K uh, tweets, uh, leaks, and intel says having to spend 70 to $100 to upgrade, upgrade your player uh, from 95 to 60 is a bit insane. And that's what I told y'all. You're probably going to end up spending about 100 bucks on these, on this joint anyway. Go ahead and spend the 100 man, and uh, and get the 450 VC. And uh, because that the 250 packs is just not going to be enough. I thought it was going to be enough for me. I made the mistake of spending the 250 packs it didn't work so if i had to do over again i would have spent the 100 pack and then you know uh you know get you some vc from uh from like gamestop or something like that whatever you want to do man but look anyway uh before we get the video started man make sure y'all like the video we're giving away a 50 dollar pack of vc on friday we already we're giving away one today but for this this video is going to count for next friday i'm giving away at least 50 dollars of vc every single week if y'all like the videos and y'all keep it involved enough and keep these videos up to, the, to a, a good amount of views to where i can afford it to where i don't go to the poorhouse being your vc financier then i will make it be more and more because I appreciate you guys watching the videos. I appreciate your support. I appreciate you liking, commenting, subscribing, and doing all the stuff that push us to the moon, baby. So that's what we trying to go. So like I said, before we get started, make sure y'all like the video because every time you like the video, it helps us get closer to that oh so coveted 100K and it can get you some VC too. And without further ado, let's get this video underway. Now, yesterday, uh, they talked about post hooking and how they changed the post hooks and uh, you know they, they are able to be contested. Mike said that they were literally immune to contest. And so Jay Easy went to Twitter and he said, for those who keep saying that that the key to stopping post scores is better defense, do you realize what immune to contest means? It literally means no matter how well you defend the player, it's not going to impact his shot attempt. This means if they miss, they miss. You didn't make them. So for everybody in the comment section, constantly saying no nah, no nah, no nah. you can play defense man you can play defense you just gotta uh do this or do that no you can't mike literally said that uh that you cannot defend them they can't be defended that's what immune to defense literally means it is what it is i don't care who likes it i don't care you know what what we think about it it just is what it is you can't defend it so if you're saying that you're playing against people and and, and they're making shots so that you're stopping them from making shots, you're not stopping them. They're stopping themselves. It just is what it is. They're just not green. And I told y'all, Gambit and uh, Brute was playing against Post Drew, and Post Drew was out there, bro, he was out there hitting 60, 70, 80% contested shots. Now, I'm not saying I understand that the sky hook is the most unblockable shot of all time, but I also understand that there was one person, one in the history of basketball, that could do it as masterfully as the captain could, and uh, and 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 could make carry teams with it, and, and hit that thing from even 18 feet and take teams to championships. It's one player, not somebody that just made a post score and then they just throwing hooks. All oh, like somebody said in the comment section, all the moves in the world, and the only thing that you and you're supposed to be a post player, and the only thing that you want to do is post hook. But if a guard only gets on the rim, then we want to complain about that. I just don't understand it. Use some other moves, man. There are other moves in the games. Mix the post hook in. Now, I will agree with one thing though. The boy post uh post Drew said, hey Baluba, I 
not saying nerf it, not completely ruin him. Now this right here, I do have an issue with. You got little people on him. He's shooting it. He's timing it well from what we can tell. And uh, I, I feel like, I can't tell what those contests are, but those are like yellow contests. Um, let me see, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to see exactly what the contest is. Yeah, those are like low level contests. I feel, well, but, those, but a lot of these got two people on them too. So like I said, it's a fine line balancing post hooks because they are supposed to be able, you're supposed to be able to hit them with some contest. Determining what that contest is, is gonna be very difficult. I don't think a teens contest should make you miss, but at the same time, you shouldn't be able to green a 60. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section. What's a good happy medium? In, in the 20s, low 20s, high 30s is where you should start missing, but I feel like those teens, uh, you should be able to do some. So post Drew, hopefully they balance that joint out. And um, you know, Hopefully, hopefully they, they balance that joint out and, and you get to uh you get to get yourself back to some type of glory, man, and and that you can do it. But the people that are just abusing it, they won't be able to do it. Up next, we got NBA 2K leaks and Intel once again saying 2K reverted everyone's badges that did the rebirth glitch with uh where you had got eight plus badges on your bill. And then they doubled down and said, hey, the people start talking and, and then the Lakers fan, I like the Lakers fan because he don't give one single solitary mother He just gonna tell you how it is and that's it and then it is what it is. Said boys are out, the boys are the best locks in the game where uh, we're about to have 48 defensive badges and shit and y'all acting like that's okay. I ain't gonna lie to y'all, boy. If I had some extra defensive badges, boy, you could get challenger, glove, and you could you get talents a glove and uh and a uh, clamps on Hall of Fame, boy. I'm I'll probably be able to do that by the end of it anyway because you know you keep getting the level 40 reward or 39 reward. But I'm just saying, uh, it's it's just one of those things where man that had the potential to be very game breaking. The reason the 2K did it is because this game is balanced so finely that anything, if they change anything, it could throw it out of whack. You see what happened with the post hooks and stuff like that. It's, it's balanced so finely that they had to change that and then threw the post hooks out of whack. So they got to make those changes and do stuff like that. A uh, double HDF, he came back and doubled down and said 2K reverted everyone's badges that did the eight plus, uh, plus 16 glitch. Uh, so if you did the glitch, they took those extra badges that you shouldn't have gotten anyway. Massive W by 2K. The boy Frasino. That boy Frasino, he says, hold on, you he says, damn 2K is on fire this year. And then uh then we got we got the boy uh LaQuincy. He says, best 2K ever if they don't if they don't uh F up the game with a lot of crazy updates trying to fix one thing and end up messing something else up. Uh in, in the 2K pass, they kill games with many updates and I and I have a big. As high as the VC is, tell me when 99 overall and we locked in at 99. Uh, tell me when you're 99 over, tell me we got we got the 99 overall and you locked in at 99. Hey, I ain't gonna lie to y'all, man. I mean, that's, that's pretty much well said right there because it's just like, what you gotta realize is, like I said, it's such a fine line that they have balanced this game on and if they if they make anything and like he said he literally said exactly what i said um they make one change and it'll impact a lot of other things and we just don't want that because 2k when you build a video game it's much it's like very much like building a jenga tower right so you can only you can't you you if you want to take something out or fix something you got to either tear it down to the point where that is fix it and then build it back up or you gotta try to reach in and take something out and hope that the whole thing then collapse on top of itself. Building video games, networks, and all this stuff is very much like a Jenga tower. And so it's like, they don't want to do something and make one change that's gonna make the whole tower fall down, especially when it might not be that important, but hopefully they can tweak enough things to where, to where you know, it'll just be, it'll just be fine and it doesn't tear the whole thing down. The boy in power DL ass is, is dead eye any good in 2K23. I'm gonna tell y'all straight up, bro. You gotta green your shot anyway. Dead eye, to me, it's not the greatest badge. It might be because I can just get it on silver. Y'all let me know down in the comment section. Um, is it a good badge? Because like on this game, you gotta take open shots. 
you gotta take open shots anyway, and it might save you from late contests. But I feel I be seeing like the late contests don't even register anyway. So it's this game is a lot, a lot like 2K18 in a lot of regards, where that late contest it doesn't do anything. So um, I don't know, man. It is what it is. That boy Yan Man says, "Hey, I just made a six seven. Oh my! Hey, man, you gotta wait. Hey, look." Make some of the best builds in the whole community, man. So, you know, it is what it is. We're going to see how that go. The boy Mike Wong, somebody asked him about jump shot celebrations. Uh, you know, he says they're not seeing them pop and stuff like that. So, he said jump shot celebrations have a chance of playing when you make three, uh, three or more shots in a row. So, three consecutive shots. You make three consecutive shots, you have a chance for it to pop. I see my boy Gambit out there, and he go up there at one, two, and on the third one, he hitting him with the, he hitting him with the dot to disrespect the two time, oh boy, what is you talking about? Hey, that's a, that's a fire animation. And then uh, somebody asked about the core badge, how does the pro how the core process work? And he says, you have to uncore a, you have to uncore a badge to earn progress toward the next level. And that's one of those things where that's, that's pretty just matter of fact. You do, you do have to do that because a lot of times what happens is, People, you know, you a quarter badge, and then you can't, you can, pretty much you can't really use it, use it while you're courting it. So if you core it, then you have to say, okay, I'm going to, um, I, I would just core it at, at Hall of Fame. I wouldn't core it before you get it to Hall of Fame. Just, just a, a, pr put the badge on, let it progress all the way up to Hall of Fame or the level that you're gonna want it to be to core it, and then you core the badge, and then you're good. Just like I, I got. I got our clamps on right now. I got it on Hall of Fame, so I'm gonna wait till it get all the hall, all the way to Hall of Fame. Once it gets to Hall of Fame, I'm gonna core it, and then I put that on like Challenger or something like that, which you probably don't even need Challenger on Hall of Fame. But pretty much what he's saying is, don't core it before you get it to the the final level that you're gonna want it to be on. Uh, that's it. Up next, community clips, man, and we got the boy. We got the boy um off meta clips, man, and he's just saying, listen, bro, I don't know where I'm playing at 2K. I don't I don't see what's happening. These and we're gonna highlight some issues in the community. And he's just saying that I don't see where I'm playing. Uh things are going wrong. I'm out here. And he just said, Can we get can we can we make sure this bug uh doesn't happen again, please? I, as I took an L, I was looking at the floor uh the whole match. And so, you know, you just can't see he don't know where he yet. Yeah, they're playing, but you know, it's like I, I've got no clue where I am. I got no clue what I'm doing. Um I got I don't know what's going on. Up next, we're gonna highlight this right here. Xbox is turning off, uh, turn, shutting off just randomly every single game in in uh, online modes like Rec Park and Pro Am uh, on next gen during inbound plays, end of quarter transitions and jump balls. This is occurring, and so we just trying to get, we just trying to get the awareness out there and let y'all know like like he's playing the game. Boom, they go out, they inbound the ball. And then, you know, throw it down quarter, what have you. And then it's Xbox, that happens right there. I guess somebody quit, a couple people quit, and this Xbox turns off. And that could be related to this right here, what NBA 2K Labs is talking about. This pop-up when somebody quits in the wreck has to go. Not gonna lie to y'all. I don't know if it's during this game, it's in the background or not, but it definitely has to go because I was playing the other day, taking the shot, somebody quit. I just completely smoked that thing. That thing was like, that thing was like, uh, what's the name? Smoking like the mask. So it definitely needs to be dealt with. That's something, I don't know why that happens, but people quit so frequently in the wreck that that's something like, it just, just it's gonna make the game unplayable. But at least it can only happen a maximum of four times before the game is over, because the fifth time the game, the game is over and it's not gonna matter. That boy Lego fan saying, hey, y'all, my boy is flying. Look at this right here. Get that shot out of here. Hold on, hold on, hold on one second, man. We gotta, we gotta play that. We gotta play that back real quick, man. Come on, Lego fan, get out, get out there. And what, and, oh, oh, okay, okay, he dribbling. He crossed it back over. He, oop, hook, hook. Did KG come out of somewhere? Shit out of here, nigga. Hey, that's what we talking about right now, baby. And last but not least, we got the best clip of the day. And that's, uh, this joker said, what? Yo, baby. Hey, bro, if I get bodied like that by a bot, it's on. It's just on. He said, what the, we said, bro, what the f uh, 80 overall AI? What did that boy say? Right! Oh, buddy! If I get body like that by the AI, I'm not gonna lie to y'all. If I transition this to the big screen, can we get this on the big screen? Let's transition this to the big screen. We gotta see that one more time. That boy went to the... Right! Oh, buddy! <laughs> I ain't gonna 
gonna lie, boy, if a bot bodies me like that, bro, we really gonna have to have an altercation. It's gonna be a misunderstanding in that motherfucker. I ain't gonna lie. Anyway, man, y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section. Hope you, hopefully, you guys enjoyed the video. Um, if you, look, we like I said, we giving away, <laughs> we giving away VC every Friday. This VC, this this video goes for next Friday. So make sure you comment on the video. Make sure you like the video. We're giving away fifty dollars worth of VC. If you made it this far, comment rack at the end of your comment down in the comment section and uh or just comment rack or whatever but it doesn't matter what you comment you, you will be in entered into the uh into the drawing let me know what you think down in the comment section i'm holla child next time uh we about to be streaming in a little bit probably right after this so uh till next time it's your boy jay easy aka fresh from the barbershop bk the people's champ guys please.